guys, have you ever wondered how something was made? Maybe like, you know, bubble gum or bowling balls or just everyday items that we use or foods that we eat? Well, today, guys, we are diving deep on the internet and looking at how things are made. If you guys are excited, be sure to smash a like for good luck and hit the subscribe button to join the family. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first video we're seeing how it's made is bubble gum. You ready, Scooty? I don't know, am I? I don't know, are you? I don't know, I, like, I'm just kind of waiting. All right, we're getting, we're getting started. Dates back to the ancient Greeks who chewed resin from trees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. did they say they chewed resin? Yeah. What? Tree sap, basically. That's, that's weird. Did in the U.S. in 1869 by, believe it or not, a dentist. In 1928, <laughs> oh. another American invented bubblegum. What? Bubblegum comes in balls of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why is this funny? <laughs> <laughs> but for blowing bubbles, nothing beats the chewy, gooey pink stuff found in the water. Chewy, gooey pink stuff. The McDonald's. It all is. starts with a gum base. The stuff okay. that makes gum chewy. Made from plastics, rubbers, and sometimes Wait, tar. what? So we're chewing on plastic when we're chewing on gum and, like, tar? Yeah, I mean, legitimately, oh. gum has, like, 30% the same contents as- That's like why we're not allowed to eat it! Now it makes sense. Well, that, see, no, that just means you're a square if you don't eat your gum. You're waiting. You eat your gum? Yeah. Ew! Wax or resin are poured over the base. I never knew this. Bond together. I'm learning so much. This is so educational. Chloride is added, and the mixture is blended for about 16. It looks so the weird. Heat from the old machinery causes steam. Oh, imagine which getting heats the drink that. The drink this? You would drink this? You would choke to death. What are you talking about? I it's so jump thick. Into that. You want to jump into this? I want to climb in there. You can't climb in there. You're going to get stuck. It rotates for a few more hours to gain consistency. That looks so weird. I want to live in there. Of course you do. <laughs> it transforms the big bulky wad into thin strips. What? It looks like hot dogs now. So the gum runs itself through a series of rotors. This is very intense. A turbine that power the building's air conditioning. All just to make However, gum? the gum's lack of yeah. tensile wow. strength means the factory stays at a comfortable 117 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. Rollers take Did the they just call that comfortable? 117 degrees is comfortable? It's extremely comfortable. To the cutting and wrapping station, where oh, one that's cool. actions at super high speed. Imagine getting stuck in the machine. That would actually be the worst way to die. And here it is in slow motion, in case you missed it the first time. Whoa, this is so crazy. Whoa. Whoa. And that's how bubblegum is made? The standard measure. That's actually so cool. I'm like amazed by this. My, my brain is bamboozled. Scooty, how do you feel about this? How many pieces of hubba bubba can you fit in your mouth? Mmm, probably like 30. <laughs> Why did you get all quiet? Why did you get Big all quiet? <laughs> but they're small! They're small! And you chew them down. No, you can't. That's cheating! We're gonna look at how hot dogs were made, right, Scooty? Aren't you hot dog, Harris? You suck. It was German sausage makers who. German sausage! In fact, sausage, sausage. German immigrants selling them from push carts in New York's Bowery. Wow, this is going very deep and historical about the hot dog. I don't need the hot dog history. I'm skipping to how it's made. Oh! Left over from cutting steaks or. Yo, that looks like my Ew! high school lunches. Ew! It really does look like the lunches that would feed us back in like middle school and elementary school. Ew! Ooh, this looks gross. It looks like worms. Looks like pasta. I want some. It other does not pasta. look like pasta. Ew! Why does it look like that? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Mustard? Mustard. They put that in the hot dogs? That's gross! Ew, I hate it! I hate it! It's so gross! Ew, it's gross! Ew! It looks like poop! It looks <laughs> yes. like poop! Oh, I mean, look at the tube! They should clean Ew. the tube! They really need to clean that tube. It looks crusty. That looks like a night after some Taco Bell. <laughs> Why is it shooting out so fast? Paula! Paula looks like a person who works at the meat factory. What does that mean, Scooby? Like, she just gives me, like, lunch lady vibes. They look like robot hot dogs. Like, these don't even look like real food. It looks like robot pieces. Ew! Why are they leaking hot dog liquid? Oh, alright. 
Would you drink a fat cup of that? No, not even for five hundred dollars. Would you? Five? What a low ball! Jeez, I'd do it for like fifty cents. What? Liquid smoke seeps through the casing and adds flavor to the dogs as they bait. Machine pulls them off the bars onto a conveyor. Whoa! They're still not done yet. This should be a sequel into a uh, sausage what? party. Oh, that movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> so is that pretty much the whole process and then they just get packaged? I'm skipping ahead here. Don't huh? you want to learn how they take the black stripe off the hot dog? You know what? Now you got me wondering, okay? I'm going to just let it go and do its thing. Oh, it goes to that thingy. <laughs> That's a lot of hot dogs. An inspector makes sure the casing has been completely removed. Oh, so that's how they remove the casing. Incredible 300,000 hot dogs an hour. That's a lot of hot dogs in one hour. I'm impressed. That's a lot of dogs. <laughs> and then they get packaged and that's how they're made. Scooty, how did you feel about that? I can't. I don't even know. All right, we got peanut butter. How it's made. All right, you ready, Scooty? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter as we know it today. <laughs> as we know it today! By an American doctor. What? A doctor made peanut butter? Why are you shocked by these? I'm shocked. It's it's mind blowing. So bad. That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these nuts sure are hot. <laughs> I'm dumb. When they come out, they've turned from white to light brown. Dang. I want to just grab a bunch and shove them in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I don't like peanuts. I only like peanut what? butter. Yeah, I just I don't like peanuts. You're a freak. Do you eat any sort of nut? No, I don't like nuts. This is intense. I this vacuum thing. It's like sucking the nuts up. No, it's drilling into the nuts. It is drilling the nuts. It's drilling the nut. Oh, it got all creamy. Whoa. Stabilizer to keep the peanut oil from separating and floating to the top of the jar. Oh, then they squirt it in the jar. That's kind of satisfying, actually. The bad news is that the rest of the fat content is trans fat. Or Ew. Fat. They had to put the bad fat somewhere else? I didn't know there was bad fat out of peanut butter. The oil that's used as the stabilizer. Honestly though, like that's satisfying. Like I, I could work at a peanut factory. I, I would like watching this. It's oddly satisfying. <laughs> yeah, but you don't even eat peanut butter and I bet they get I like peanut, peanut butter. I just don't like peanuts. Peanut butter is just soft peanuts. <laughs> Now that you word it like that. Moving along, guys. The next thing we're going to see how it's made is rubber balls. You ready, Scooty? I don't know. Are we? I don't know. Are we? A lot happens Maybe. when an inflated rubber oh. ball hits the ground. Whoa. The rubber compresses and quickly snaps back to its round shape. So how is the ball made? That we, we don't need ball history right now. <laughs> I want ball history. I want to learn every little detail about every little dot on these basketballs. Their names, I their don't. Their social security numbers, their families, their extended families who they're married to, their pets' names. Scooty, I'm scared. At the core is an inflated rubber bladder. What? They have a bladder? This is so interesting. He places a die on top and activates a press to force Ooh. it through the layers, which cuts out the shape. He now has the bladder of a sports ball. Oh. This is weird. I didn't know they do that. They have a little bladder and everything. Are these footballs? Is I think those are basketballs or something. They might just not be inflated yet. At a temperature of 284 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa! The rubber bladder spins on a revolving cylinder. You this is cool. Right, 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 round. Why do they keep calling it the bladder? It looks like a spider web. The material that will form the exterior. Why does that look like curry? Curry? It looks like curry. Magnesium. Oh, that looks weird. A worker rolls it into thick sheets and slices. That looks like Laffy Taffy. It, it pretty much is just gum because we're eating plastic anyways. Thin, and it becomes both lightweight and formable. This is really crazy. Back Whoa, the they're painting it now. A worker applies the brand Whoa, name. Whoa, the, the brand name. This is intense. All this really to make a ball? What? We love our basketball. Also baking <laughs> into it. So they have like a press thing that puts the little dots on there. You were wondering about that, Scooty. Yeah, but I still want to know their names, their families, their social security numbers. <sighs> Here we go again. The mold applies heat and pressure to emboss the pattern onto the rubber. This is cool. The lettering has penetrated the rubber. Why do they have to say it like that? Another worker replenishes the air that's been lost 
to make the ball completely full and round. Actually, that's pretty cool how that's made. I never thought about this, but that was very educational. Imagine if your hand got stuck on the machine. That would hurt a lot, Scooty. I don't want to imagine, but that was an educational time, okay? I had a fun time watching how stuff was made. Did you have a good time? I did. So guys, that's it for today's video. Also, before today's video ends, I want to give a huge shout out to today's daily shout out winners above my head. If you want to win a shout out in the next video, just leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in the next one. Also, guys, thank you all so much for the support lately let me know in the comments down below what was the craziest thing you guys saw get made behind the scenes in today's video and what would you guys like to see next on my channel anyways guys it's been lissy i hope you guys have a great day be sure to check out my other social medias my instagram my twitter and all my other stuff is linked down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys